Okay, greetings uh, fellow YouTubers and uh, Steam enthusiasts. Uh, what we have here is a brief video on a um, system we worked on the past couple of days. Uh, the major problem that we had to deal with was that the uh, low water cutoff wasn't working. Uh, in other words, it didn't detect a low water condition. And we found that the probe was bad. You can see the um, corrosion there. And uh, we tried to repair it, but uh, there was no go. So we, we, of course, it was better just to replace it. Now, on these Dunkirks, the probe is in a rather <laughs> difficult uh, position to replace. And there it is. And the other thing about these probes, you may notice, is that they are half inch and not three quarter. So that's uh, something that can catch you unawares. You'll notice the inspection sticker from 2008. So this boiler was perfectly acceptable for uh, my fair city. And... I think you can judge on what you think about this inspected install. The uh, Unimatch feeder has no uh, bypass. Um, the only thing really the inspectors care about in my fair city is whether there's a backflow preventer or not. They really don't um, enforce uh, proper installation at all. So they mount the low water cutoff here, and uh, you can see that it is powered up. And there's the water level now. Uh, there's our blowdown. Uh, the pigtail was clear, and we've got this set at the lowest possible steading. And the only way we could really keep this from banging uh, with this crazy low water, uh, see, of this crazy near boiler piping is we adjusted the firing rate on this to um, keep the uh, uh, steam generation down to a minimum. There are only a couple of radiators hooked up. Uh, as you can also see that the returns are uh, three-quarter inch on either end, which is a, a little small, and there's no uh, easy access drain. So we think one of them uh, towards the rear is um, probably got some issues. It's probably clogged. Let me show you that one. I come around here. And there it is there. It's one inch, and then they reduce it to three-quarter. And I think that's probably got some rust there. And there's the end of the main right there um, at this end. At the other end, uh, they pretty much replaced it with copper. Uh, this does eventually get warm, but it's definitely not, not as fast as the other one. So a lot of the water was stacking up. Um, in the pipes there and causing water hammer. So I think we've got this one working better. Um, and this is what I'm, I'm confronted with uh, a lot of times. Uh, I get uh, some people telling me that I'm not putting in my boilers right because I'm not using cast iron fittings. And yet, this is what I see every day. Um, so you can draw your own conclusions and you can uh, um, if you want to say something about no cast iron fittings then uh, we can uh, we can have that discussion but I think we're done here the system is heating and heating quietly and uh, I bid you good night